So that's that for microphone. Then on the on, on, on that same PCB, we have the SIM connector or the SIM slot. Yeah, like on, on this phone now, we have a SIM connector at the top, another one down. It has two SIM connectors. And still on the same phone, we have the memory connector. This is where you have memory card. Memory card connector. We also have various ICs on the phone. Various ICs. Some will cover their own up. Like we have in this particular PCB, it is covered up here. But in this particular board, it's open. These are various um, ICs on the board. On that same board, we have side keys. Like in this one now, we have a side key that is meant for volume. And another one designated for camera. So that when you press it, it will bring up camera. On this is an Android phone or smartphone, as the case may be. This is a smartphone. So it has its own um, SIM slot combined side by side with memory slot. Like I've said before, the, all these things depends on the manufacturer preference. We also have the vibrator, the fiber motor. This is what allows your phone to vibrate when call is coming in. On this particular phone also, we have the camera module. This is the camera module. That aids your camera. And we have the LED. This particular LED is for LED lamp. LED lamp on the phone. Some phone will come with the LED lamp at the front, LED lamp at the back, depending on the preference, and some could come at the top. That's what we call the touch. So people use it to actually see in the night. So, like I said, it's just about the design and preference of the manufacturer. This is the DC jack. I mean, this is the hands free jack. This is where you put your arms free in. So if you normally call it earpiece, it's not earpiece, it's arms free. This is where you put your arms free in the phone. And the I've shown the charging port. This is the charging port. This is the DC, the charging port or the DC port, the red current port. So there are various functions on the phone. But I think I'll be able to, we'll be able to, with this lesson, we'll be able to identify the parts that are on the PCB and the charging port. Let me quickly return to the charging port. We have various designs of charging port. This is a, this is a particular design. It's a bigger design for Samsung. You have this universal CA101 port. This is what people today call Blackberry port. Most people will tell this Blackberry port, but it's just universal CA101 universal port. A lot of people, a lot of manufacturer today are switched to this particular port. But um, in local panels, people will tell you that BB port. And we have the pin charger. Like this is a pin mount. And various other charger designs that we have in the market. But once you see them, you'll be able to identify that this is the part to begin to charge the phone from. This is the key mat. Like you can see now in the keypad, People will call it keypad, but the main keypad is in the phone. So we have the dump sheet that interacts with the keypad on the phone. So without this dump sheet, this is, this is the interface of the phone. You have positive and negative. So the essence of the dump sheet is that it's always suspended. That's why it's in the dome form with circuit fill. But that when you press it, it bridges these two points, the positive and negative port on the on the on the keypad. So once you, you press it, it will bridge it and send signal to the PCB that oh you are pressing seven, you are pressing four. But if they are not suspended, it means that um, every other of keys will be present at a time. That's why it's made in dome form. So that once you press it, it will bridge the circuit and an action will be performed on the phone. There's another phone that has other components on them, but these are basic comp components that we found in most phones in the mobile phone world.